वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ ऑटो कार इंडिया क्विक न्यूज वेर वी गिव यू क्विक लो डाउन ऑन द इंटायर वीक्स हैपनिंग फ्रॉम द एक्साइटिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ ऑटोमोबील्स बट बिफोर वी बिगिन डू हिट सब्सक्राइब टू द ऑटो कार इंडिया चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन टू स्टे नोटिफाइड ऑन ऑल आर लेटेस्ट अपलोड विल स्टार्ट द न्यूज विद द फर्स्ट पिक्चर्स ऑफ द महिंद्रा स्कॉर्पियो एन Mahindra has released the first official pictures of the new generation Scorpio that will go on sale with the name Scorpio N. The model will sell alongside the current generation Scorpio that will be rebadged as the Scorpio Classic. While the Scorpio N will be revealed in full on June 27th, the first images show much of the frontal and side design. There is a visual link to the older Scorpios in the lines though the latest model does seem to be both longer and wider giving it a more planted stance. Vertical slats on the grille, C-shaped LED DRLs on the bumper and diamond cut alloy wheels are some of the interesting details. While Mahindra hasn't revealed any details, spy pictures have shown a dashboard dominated by a large touch screen, three rows of seating and a side hinge tailgate. The Scorpio N will be offered with the 2-liter turbo petrol and 2.2-liter turbo diesel engines doing duty in the Thar and XCV700, though final power outputs for this application aren't out yet. Both engines will be offered with standard fit 6 speed manual transmissions and will also be available with 6 speed automatic transmissions. As with all Scorpios to date, the Scorpio N will be based on a tough ladder frame chassis and certain versions will also get a four wheel drive system. More details are awaited on the Scorpio N which is undoubtedly one of the most anticipated launches of 2022. Expect Scorpio N pricing in the range of 12 to 20 lakh rupee price bracket. Checking with tough SUVs, Jeep has announced prices of the seven-seat Meridian SUV. Prices for the Jeep Meridian start at 29.9 lakh rupees at showroom for the base 4x2 variant, going up to 36.95 lakh rupees for the top spec 4x4 trim. The Meridian is priced significantly lower than its chief competitor, the Skoda Kodiak, as well as the MG Glosser and Toyota Fortuner. A derivative of the Compass, the Meridian has been completely reworked to accommodate a third row of seats. and costs 6.26 lakh rupees more than an equivalent variant of its smaller two row sibling the meridian is available in two trims limited and limited option with the latter offered with a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster a 10.1 inch touch screen infotainment system with wireless apple carplay and android auto wireless phone charging power front seats a dual zone climate control system as well as a panoramic sunroof The Meridian comes powered by a 170 horsepower 2 liter diesel engine with the option of an all wheel drive system reserved only for the automatic variants. You can watch the full review of the Meridian in the link above. Tata Motors has introduced a new variant to the Harrier lineup. The new Harrier XZ S variant comes priced at 19.99 lakh rupees at showroom and bridges the gap between the XZ and top spec XZ plus trims. The Harrier XZ S is available with both manual and automatic transmissions as well as in the dark edition trim. The Harrier XZ S gets features that were previously exclusive only to the XZ Plus trim such as the 17-inch dual tone alloy wheels, a panoramic sunroof, 6-way electronically adjustable driver's seat and an auto dimming IRVM. Other standard features on the new variant include projector headlamps with LED DRLs, an 8.8-inch infotainment system, a 7-inch DFT instrument cluster, a JBL sound system and automatic climate control. The Harrier XZ S will be available in both 6-speed manual and 6-speed torque converter automatic transmission options paired to the 2-liter diesel engine. Land Rover has launched the new Range Rover Sport in India. Just days of unveiling the third generation Range Rover Sport SUV, the British marque has launched the new model that comes priced at 1.64 crore rupees at showroom. The big price tag is on account of the model coming to India as a full import and attracting the full bevy of import duties. The SUV will follow the new fifth generation Range Rover into India with deliveries to commence in November. The latest Range Rover Sport features digital LED lights up front and uninterrupted LED light graphics at the rear. On the inside, the highlight is the 13.1 inch curved screen that uses JLR's PV Pro infotainment system along with the 13.7 inch driver's display. The Sport is more driver oriented than the Range Rover and gets a 20 mm lower seating position. The Range Rover Sport will be offered in India initially at least solely with a 3 liter 6 cylinder diesel engine with 48 volt mild hybrid tech. The engine makes 350 horsepower and 650 Nm. You can expect petrol and plug-in hybrid version of the Range Rover Sport to be offered in the future as well. Porsche has launched the latest version of the 718 Cayman Coupe in India. Priced at 2.54 crore rupees at showroom, the GT4 RS is the most hardcore version of the Cayman. The GT4 RS gets a 4-liter naturally aspirated flat 6 engine that produces 500 horsepower and 450 Nm of peak torque. It comes mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that propels it to 100 km/h in 3.4 seconds. It gets a top speed of 315 km/h. 
The GT4 RS has undergone some significant aerodynamic updates which include a swan neck rear wing, new air vents and adjustable front diffuser along with a 30mm drop in ride height compared to the standard 71 it came in. The result is a 10% increase in downforce compared to the GT4. The GT4 RS also gets carbon fiber reinforced plastic for the bonnet, new front wings and a lighter rear windscreen. Hyundai has some good news to share confirming the arrival of the new Tucson SUV. The new Hyundai Tucson has been a long time coming and will finally go on sale in India in the coming month. Hyundai has not disclosed further details as yet but the model for India will likely be offered with 2-litre petrol and 2-litre diesel engine options with all-wheel drive for the diesel version. The 5-seat Tucson will be Hyundai's premium offering rivaling the likes of the Citroen C5 Aircross and the Jeep Compass. The new model sports angular styling and geometric details and looks far removed from the last Tucson sold in India. Inside, the new Tucson adopts a minimalist approach and uses touch panels for several controls. The new Tucson will get a 10.25-inch digital driver display and a 10.25-inch touchscreen infotainment system and the model for India is expected to be fully loaded with features like a Bose audio system, panoramic sunroof and more. Sticking with Hyundai, the Korean car maker has discontinued the Santro hatchback. Hyundai has ended production of its entry-level Santro hatchback at its Tamil Nadu plant. Launched first in 1998, the first-generation Santro went on sale in India until 2014 when it was discontinued. In 2018, Hyundai reintroduced its popular hatchback in its second-generation form and priced it at the higher end of the budget car segment, but this time the Santro failed to join buyers like the original did. Furthermore, the recent government order on the mandatory fitment of six airbags and the upcoming BS6 Phase 2 norms that would have required Hyundai to completely re-engineer the Santro didn't help the small car's case. Honda Cars India has silently introduced updates to the 4th and 5th generation Honda City models. While the base SV frame on the 4th generation City has been additionally equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system from the higher V-trim, there has been no price increment with this feature addition. The 5th generation Honda City, however, sees a few deletions including omission of front and rear mudguards, chrome inside door handles as well as the full-size spare alloy wheel which gets replaced by a 15-inch steel space saver unit. Honda will also be removing trim badges from all its models in India, barring the new Honda City Hybrid, which will retain its EHEV badge on the boot. French car maker Citroën has revealed plans to enter the EV segment in India with an affordable sub 4 meter model based on the upcoming Citroën C3. The compact EV will likely go on sale next year and would be followed by multiple models with different body styles that would include MPVs and CUVs as well. Citroen plans to ramp up its dealer network exponentially to cater to higher sales volumes these mass market models would bring. The C3 compact SUV will be the first of the mass cars from Citroen and is set to go on sale later next month. And in some global news, BMW has taken the wraps of the updated 3 Series sedan. The facelifted 3 Series sedan gets a new look front end which hosts slimmer LED headlights with an L-shaped DRL signature, a re-sculpted grille and gloss black brake cooling vents. At the rear, it gets a reshaped bumper and color-coded trim elements. The M Sport cars are overtly distinguished by a distinctive hexagonal lower intake in the front bumper and a chunky diffuser at the rear. The long wheelbase 3 Series sold in markets like India and China will also follow similar styling updates. Inside, the 3 Series becomes the latest BMW model to get the new look curved instrument panel that first appeared on the iX EV, hosting a 12.3-inch digital cluster and a 14.9-inch infotainment screen with the firm's latest 8-generation iDrive interface. As part of a wider cabin overhaul, the central air vents have been slimmed down, there are new touch-sensitive buttons on the center console and the shifter for the standard 8-speed automatic gearbox has been redesigned. You can expect the updated BMW 3 Series to go on sale in India by the end of the year with the current 4-cylinder petrol and diesel engines and the 6-cylinder M340i trim. And coming to two-wheelers now, Kiwi has officially entered the Indian market. Hungarian two-wheeler brand Kiwi has commenced its India innings with three products. The brand, which will retail from Benelli India Showroom Network, will offer the KLI 250V Cruiser Motorcycle, the VSC 300 Maxi Scooter and the 60s 300i Scooter, all locally assembled in India. While prices are yet to be announced, Kiwi has commenced online bookings for 10,000 rupees with test rides commencing on May 26. The deliveries, however, are slated to begin by end May or early June. The Kiwi KLI 250V is a typical cruiser motorcycle and features a large sculpted tank which houses the instrument cluster. It gets a round LED headlight, contoured seat, as well as dual exhaust pipes. The 249cc V twin engine produces 18.7 horsepower and 19 nm of peak torque and uses a bell drive system to send power to the rear wheel via a 5 speed gearbox. 
The Kiwi Vista 300 Maxi scooter gets an angular front apron that houses the headlamp unit with four LED projectors. It also gets a tinted windscreen, a part analog instrument cluster, LED tail lights, and keyless operation. The Maxi scooter comes powered by a 278.2 cc single cylinder liquid cooled engine that puts out 18.7 horsepower and 22 Nm of peak torque. Braking duties are handled by a 240mm disc up front and a 220mm disc at the rear with dual channel ABS. Finally, the Kiwi 6300i scooter is a retro classic inspired from the styling cues of the 60s. It gets a grille on the front apron, hexagonal headlight, and split seats. Modern elements include LED lighting and disc brakes up front. While it uses the same engine as the VSF 300, it gets a smaller 10 litre fuel tank and smaller 12 inch wheels when compared to its Maxi scooter counterpart. Hero Motor Corp has introduced a new variant of its popular Splendor Plus commuter motorcycle. The new Splendor Plus X Tech comes priced at 72,900 rupees ex showroom Delhi. The bike gets a segment first full digital instrument cluster with Bluetooth connectivity. It provides missed call, message alerts, and gets an integrated USB port as well. The Splendor Plus X Tech gets a new LED DRL on top of the halogen headlight, new body graphics, and black alloy wheels. The X-Tech, however, remains mechanically unchanged and comes powered by a 97.2cc engine that produces 7.9 horsepower and also gets Hero's i3s idle start stop technology. TVS has introduced the updated iCube electric scooter. The iCube, which was initially launched at 1.15 lakh rupees, has now been introduced in a refreshed avatar priced at 98,564 rupees on road Delhi. The price includes the Fame 2 and state subsidies. While the iCube S variant comes priced at 1.08 lakh rupees on road Delhi, TVS is yet to reveal the prices of the new top spec SC trim. Bookings, however, have commenced for a sum of 999 rupees. The biggest change in the 2022 iCube is the improvement in range, which has almost doubled from 75 km in the outgoing version to 140 km in the SC trim, which gets a bigger 5.1 kWh lithium ion battery pack. The iCube and iCube S variants, on the other hand, get a 3.4 kWh unit with a claim range of 100 km. In terms of features, the base IQ gets a 5-inch TFT screen while the middle-level S trim comes with the larger 7-inch TFT display. The top-spec IQ ST, on the other hand, gets a 7-inch touchscreen display with OTA compatibility and a new user interface. It also gets a higher 32 liters under seat storage and fast charging capability through a 1.5 kW off-board charger. BGOS has launched its D15 electric scooter. BGOS will offer two different variants of the scooter, namely D15i and D15 Pro. The BGOS D15i comes priced at 1 lakh rupees, while the D15 Pro gets a sticker tag of 1.15 lakh rupees ex showroom daily after Fame 2 subsidy. The BGOS D15 comes with a retro modern design with a round headlight, a compact front apron, and near flat side panels. The scooter has a full metal body and features smartphone connectivity as well. The BGOS D15i has an IP67 detachable 3.2 kWh lithium ion battery pack that takes 5 hours and 30 minutes to attain 100% charge and claims a range of 115 km. An optional fast charger brings the time taken to fully charge the battery down to 1 hour and 30 minutes. The key differentiator between the two variants is that while the D15i gets a single lithium ion battery pack, the D15 Pro gets an additional valve regulated lead acid battery as well. Both variants come powered by a hub mounted 3.1 kW PMSM motor that develops 110 Nm of peak torque, and there are three modes on offer Eco, Sport, and Reverse. Ola Electric has reopened the purchase window of its S1 and S1 Pro electric scooters on May 21st, with prospective buyers who have already reserved the scooter getting the chance to order it now. Ola has also announced that there would be a hike in the prices of its scooters, which were earlier priced at 85,000 and 1.1 lakh rupees on road Delhi, respectively, after all subsidies. And that's all the news we have this week. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next week with more news and more scoops from the exciting world of automobiles. Till then, Keep enjoying Autocar India.